Hello, my name is Ann Meyer, and I'm the Director of Music and Worship Arts at People's Church in Oregon. This week, I'm presenting the Thursday Devotion. I think about prayer a lot. We pray as a church family on Sunday, not in person, but somehow together in the Spirit nonetheless. When I look at the Bible, um, Paul's first letter to the Church of the Thessalonians, where he talks about how to lead a life pleasing to God. This is one of his final exhortations. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Pray without ceasing. I know a little tiny bit about that. I grew up in the tradition of praying the daily offices. Marking times of day by pausing for prayer is traditional in Judaism and in Christianity. By 300 AD, there were actual Christian off, uh, uh, services that were offered for morning and evening prayer. And by 1500, services were printed in vernacular English and were intended for all church people to use. And the tradition is still central in monastery life. And there are suggestions all over the internet for where to find personal prayers and inspirational readings. I'm familiar with the Book of Common Prayer, which is according to the use of the Episcopal Church. And there's a section with the daily offices, and it includes many prayer selections, selections from Psalms, readings from the Holy Scripture. It even provides a daily office lectionary that identifies readings and psalm choices. My granny used to take me to morning prayer when I was little. Early on, she figured out I would need something to keep me engaged and quiet during the prayers. The best thing was her beaver fur coat. I would sit and rub my cheek against her shoulder. I would pet her forearm and I would be engrossed in the cadence and the language of the prayers. One of my early childhood memories is of a very hot morning prayer in a non-air conditioned chapel and my granny in her fur coat. Morning prayer, also called matins, can begin the day with a prayer like this. O oh God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, incline our hearts to keep your law and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And morning prayer, matins, normally begins at about sunrise. Noonday prayer is around noon. And such a prayer as this could be offered. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Evening prayer is about sunset. It's called Vespers or Evensong, and it includes the words of an ancient Christian hymn. It's got a Latin title, Fos Hilaron, and it goes like this. O oh, gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O oh, Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O oh God, 
Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of light. We sing your praises, O throughout the world. And then at bedtime, Compline. And at the end of Compline, you can offer a benediction such as this. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. And give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Jesus. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. And this final antiphon. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia. This tradition is worldwide. Prayers are lifted up at specific times of the day, and then those prayers move westward through the time zones. So here's my earth, my, here's the earth, and here's morning prayer, and it goes around the earth, and here comes morning prayer, and here comes noonday prayer, and here comes evening prayer, and here comes Compline, and they move, and here comes morning prayer. What I see in my heart is waves of prayer that circle the earth without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. I believe in prayer. I believe prayer has power. I am edified when I read the Holy Scripture and these organized opportunities to stop throughout the day and pray and be edified. They keep me grounded in the foundation that I need to carry on. Thank you for letting me share that with you today. God bless you.